Welcome back everyone for today's tutorial, which is on how I create a moody vintage dark tone for the images that I share on Instagram. I know it's been quite a while since my last upload here on YouTube and I thought that I would do a very fun video for sort of my return. This photo is one that I took a few years ago and I decided to actually pull out one of my older edits. So today's edit can actually be found in my Dark Tones collection in my store at professorhines.com forward slash store. So if you're interested in utilizing this look for your photos, you'll be able to find it there. So let's get started with our edit for today. So first we want to start out for, th for this particular photo. We're actually going to have a, a more cooler look. That's a little bit different from a lot of the images that I've been doing lately. So that's what I said. Let's try this particular look. Have a little fun. Do something a little different. So we want to have a little bit cooler temperature to our photos. And so we're going to dial this down quite a bit. That looks pretty good. And then we'll bring down our tint ever so slightly as well. Okay. And so next I want to decrease my contrast. Go to about negative 27. That works. And then for this we'll also dial down our highlights. And we'll bring those down quite a bit. Now for my shadows, I want to increase that to about plus 40 and decrease my white level. And we'll also do the same for the black level. So next I want to increase my clarity quite a bit here. And we'll add a little texture into this as well. We'll add a little bit of that. So next I want to come down to my tone curve. And so this is where we're going to get our vintage look. Now, since I already have this pre-made, we'll choose my four train curve plus, and that will give me a, a little bit flatter look in some of my, my shadow and black points of my tone curve here. And then what I also want to do is decrease the light, decrease a little bit of the dark, and then significantly increase the shadows here. And that looks pretty good. And then next, I also want to adjust my curve and where my points are here. And so we'll bring this up about 60. Okay, that looks good. So next, one of my favorite parts, the HSL. So we want to adjust some of our hues here. And so for our reds, we're going to change that all the way up to our more orange color look there. And for the yellow, we'll go a little bit more more towards the green side of the spectrum. And we'll adjust a few of these other colors, a little bit of magenta, we'll adjust that a bit. And our greens, we'll kind of in, increase the green color there. Okay. So next, saturation. We're going to increase our orange here ever so slightly, decrease a little bit of the reds. And then I want to significantly get rid of a lot of this blue. So we're going to decrease this quite significantly here. And then also the same for, as you see, we have some of these purple magenta that's there. And so I want to bring that down as well. So we'll go to about negative 60 for both of these. Beautiful. And then next I want to also bring down any of my aqua levels. And that looks pretty good. So next for my luminance, I want to increase some of these. So we'll increase pretty much most of these. The reds, the orange, the yellow, a little bit of our green. And then we'll just dial back a little bit of our blue and purple. Okay. And then next, come on down here to our details panel increase our sharpness as you all know i'm always a big fan of sharpness so we'll add quite a bit there 
And for our noise reduction, we'll just go my standard about 20 or so. All right, looks pretty good. And then lastly, we'll come down to our effects and calibration. So let's add a nice little vignette there. And we'll bring our midpoint all the way down. And now we really got that dark look going on. Change our roundness, feather that. And now in doing the vignette as harsh as it is, you see along the edges, I, I kind of showed this in one of my earlier videos. When you do the vignette to get that light back, just adjust your highlights down here. And you can put however much light back that you want where the vignette actually went around. And so we didn't want to lose all of that light because, you know, that's that's just ultimately dark. But we'll actually increase it for this photo and maybe go halfway, about 50 or so percent. That looks good. And then for our calibration, we want to manipulate a few of these colors. And go up to about 40 on our hue for our green primary. And then also take out some of that saturation. And do the same for our blue. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, one thing I didn't do in this one is any split toning. Now, if you want to have a different kind of look to your photo go in and adjust your split toning so if i wanted to do that i'll just show you how for as a quick example you know maybe i wanted to add a little bit in my highlight and you know let's maybe make it a little bit cinematic go a little bit in the green that looks pretty good so we actually could keep that let's keep that look for this this particular video i think that actually looked good you know, I was just trying to show you what it looked like, but it actually worked out better. So we'll keep that. And then I'll also decrease a little bit of the balance. So we'll go to negative 30 on the balance. And then once we have that, we're going to export our photo and then finish it off in Photoshop. So now I've brought my image into Photoshop and we'll do our finishing touches here. So I want to go to image adjustments and we want to change our levels and our curves. And so I have some presets here for these as well that will just run those. And let's see, maybe go to seven. That's really dark. I, I like that. Maybe we don't have to go as, let's kind of increase that to four. Okay. And then we'll also do a little bit of our curve. Maybe go to three. Uh, I think let's go to, let's stay with two. I think two is pretty good. Okay, so now sometimes what I like to do is take my dodge tool and go over any areas that I might want to brighten up a bit. So since I have my mid-tone range selected, I'll go over maybe the bus area, increase some of that, maybe some of the buildings. Now I might want this reflection to stand out a little bit, you know, the bus that's down here. So I'm actually going to go highlights and increase the lights. The, the light areas that's down here just to kind of make them stand out a little bit also do the same up here at the top that looks pretty good all right and then once we have that we'll just save it and that's our image that's how you go about creating a dark tone and how i actually do that for the images that i share on my instagram so be sure to check out more of my tutorials here on my channel and of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Professor Hines. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.